that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives.
that very best person, and it's hard when we're having an off day to put that person at the forefront of our lives. As burdens and pressures continue to grow, the weight of the cross that we each carry becomes heavier, eventually reaching the point at which we can no longer carry it on our own. Jesus was carrying the cross to sacrifice his life for all of us who asked, what the burden of the Lord was. As he traveled to Golgotha, he met people along the road who had denied him, who had loved him, and he continued to struggle to keep moving as he continued to be beaten and yelled at while dragging the 125 pound cross. And then he reaches Simon on the street and the Romans forced Simon to come and help Jesus carry the cross. Simon begins to help Jesus carry the cross, relieving Jesus from some of the pressure that he was experiencing for just a short while. While I was creating this week's art piece, I kept thinking about how Simon would have felt to have to carry that cross. Would he have been honored? Would he have been shamed? Did he even realize whom he was carrying the cross for? So as I drew my own hand holding the cross up, I realized how much I play into putting pressure on others or can sometimes seem like I'm being a burden to someone else. As I continue to draw it and paint it, I found myself praying for forgiveness for all the people I have been a burden to or have added pressure to. I shared this with about I shared this about the painting. We all carry our own cross in the form of the pressure and burdens we feel from the people in our lives. Simon helped Jesus carry his cross just as we need to allow others, and especially God, to help us with our burdens. If we neglect to let others know that we are under a lot of pressure or experiencing our own burdens, then there's no way that they can lend us a helping hand. We're placed in communities with other people so that we can share God's love with them, as well as we can share what's causing us grief or stress or anything that causes us maybe not to be that perfect person that so many people try to be. But we need to remember, too, though, if we struggle with sharing our burdens and our pressures with others, that we need to share them with God. And by sharing them with God, it can also relieve some of those stresses. So as we continue to work through the Jesus creed and live loving our neighbors, we also need to remember that part of that statement is to love yourself. And loving ourselves can be releasing some of those burdens by taking the pressure off of someone else, just as Simon did for Jesus. And give them to God or help have other people help us. And remember that God is in each and every one of our neighbors and each and every one of us. And is listening to us and is there to lend the helping hand to our neighbors. So let's keep working our way through the, cross, through the stations of the cross and down to Via Della Rosa to Golgotha. And remember to love our neighbors as ourselves, just as Jesus taught us.
obey your commandments, and also that we, being defended from the fear of our, our enemies, may live in peace and quietness. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God, remember us in your love 